Hello. Think back at Starry. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's continue now. So, where should I go? Hair pass. Hair pass. It's been a while. Oh, what's this? Six? Six? What do you want? Hey, there you are. What you're seeing is one of my remote-controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? According to what? Uh, are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery behind the eons. Right now, I want you to participate in this project. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe.
Okay. I need to go somewhere earlier. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Oh. Yes! Just stand there and the computer will read your brain waves. Then automatically generate an immersive simulated experience. Okay. Let me 
Fancy? Never heard of it. My turn. Watch this. Let's make it quick. <laughs> to repent. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sensual is but a vision. Revealed in an instant, this sensual is but a vision! You can't run! 
Clemency? Never heard of it. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Better up! Try that again! <laughs> you can't run! right away. Don't just stand there. Go in and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. <laughs> I've upgraded the simulated universe. It now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. This part was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? <laughs> what can I say? I don't trust it either. For some reason, whenever someone tells me they're gonna do something interesting, I end up imagining a pile of trash. So, I'd rather talk with you about the added rewards part. In a nutshell, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe. I'll help you out some more. Don't worry. Ooh. It's still early. Where to now?
Bombs are already gone. You have any mistakes? Unbelievable. Still early. Where to now?
best to cooperate. that we haven't had the chance to talk much and now the express is about to leave. Do you have any questions? Mm, I like you, but you have a stellar on in your body. If you were just wandering around or if you agreed to be sealed away in an experiment pod, that would be fine. But if you're going to work in the space station long term, Stellaron may have some serious effects on the station's fragmentum. As the lead researcher, that's a risk I cannot take. I can sense your enthusiasm for the space station, but I'm afraid I have to turn you away. Well, if you wanted to come back and help, of course I wouldn't refuse you. Dan Hung helped inventory our rare items. March 7th said that she would help out as much as she can and connected over 50 wires in the electrical room. Everyone from the Express is so obliging. And I think you're pretty good at meddling, too. After all this is over, I'm putting my vacation time in with Madame Herta. I've got it all. Oh, I guess so. I haven't taken leave once since I joined the space station. Oh, and if I have an actual full vacation, I can take my time to collect observational data and finish writing my paper. Of course, there's already a lot of published research on the blue, but I want to study it myself. It might sound a lot like work, but uh, it's really just a hobby. Uh, there are no deadlines or quotas to meet, and uh, I don't get paid. Well... Madame Herta gave me a piece of code, which she apparently wrote on the way here. I just tried it out, and the defense shield's regenerating three times faster than before. Thanks to her, the antimatter legion outside is not much of a threat anymore. The space station's repairs and reconstruction can also begin smoothly. When the Stellaron was extracted, even for that brief moment, it corroded the space station and formed a new space, what we now call the Fragmentum. The part that was corroded is irreversible, so the space station will always be in a state of quasi-fragmentum. Huh. I'd like to know the answer to that as well. All existing fragmentums are connected, so monsters will be able to enter the space station through the fragmentum here, but it shouldn't allow anything to exit your body, so I talked with Arlan and there's no easy solution to this problem at the moment. 
increase the security and patrol frequency to protect the ongoing research. Sure. could I do for the space station? It's about being observant at all times, and carefully making the best choice for the situation. You can do it too. I think you're not bad yourself. If you're referring to what I think about you joining the Astral Express, you're overthinking it. My position is simple. It doesn't matter to me. I suggest you ignore my opinions and make your own choice. Being on the Express isn't exactly the same as traveling or adventuring. The Astral Express symbolizes trailblazing. Trailblazing implies the unknown, be it unknown risks or unknown rewards. In my opinion, the unknown is no more terrifying than the known. In fact, the unknown signifies something we can control and change. Hmm. Okay then. already? You know, when you were passed out, all I thought was I had to look after you. And then you picked up the bat? Just incredible! In the blink of an eye, you knocked that big fella into Mr. Yang's black hole and saved me. I still haven't thanked you properly yet. Nah, we're not splitting up here. I'd like to know, too. I was already on the train when I woke up. I was just drifting out there in space and got picked up by the Express. Amazing, right? Crazy stuff like that? Not too often. It sure freaked me out, but every encounter I've had since coming aboard the Express has been strange to say the least. It's... <laughs> <laughs>
get some noodles. I think I need it because uh, I think my sinus is hurting again. I think it's my nasal allergy striking. Uh. For example, going to the desert to catch something called a sandfish, correcting and a gravitational field to flip an upside down bread. castle, or almost getting my head cracked open by a galena ball falling from the sky while trying to avoid a sleeping reindeer on the road. to leave your carriage unmanned, would you? Join us! Then it wouldn't be a problem anymore. I'll be waiting for you. Have you thought things through? Mm hmm? Go ahead, speak your mind. As always, to follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Sometimes we stop on other worlds and we'll continue to do so. There are countless next stops in the galaxy. I love the vast reaches of space, and the Express does too. I want to seek out new worlds, and the Express wants to return to its former path. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. You've done me a huge favor by defending the space station from the Antimatter Legion. And know that while Herta may not admit it, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return. And it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? How about we continue talking on the Express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. I was ready ages ago. I've been here so many times before. It should have just been an ordinary trip for me. But everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking the same path over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. Because you're different. Well, that might be the biggest reason. It's not the only one. I think you need a chance. A chance to discover just how different you really are from everyone else. Everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you. But that's already plain as day to you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herta or anybody, it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. Sense. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron, and to know who you really are. Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. Is the our teacher? 
The Stellaron might still be an enigma, but the fact of the matter is, it's a part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. What's up? Get another piece of bread. So, have you thought things through? to now. Researcher here, you can just ask Asta. If she's fine with it, I have no complaints. No, oh, hold on. You have a Stellaron within you. I think it's better if you left and came back occasionally. It might be dangerous if you stay for too long. Well, from an objective standpoint, that is the most rational place for you to be. First of all, you have somewhere to live and you'd be under their protection. Also, it'll be a long trip, so you'll have more opportunities to find a way to save yourself from the Stellaron. Lastly, if the Stellaron really explodes, you won't harm too many people around you. Wow, you really need to see that thing. Oh, how should I know? It's up to you. You have so many options to choose from. Maybe jump out a hatch, or hop into the Fragmentum and see if any monsters start worshipping you. No! You're way too dangerous. I don't mind personally, but I don't want Asta and others to take the risk. You wouldn't want the Stellaron in you to hurt all the people in the space station either. Ru Just come back once in a while. You will always be welcome at the space station. Just don't stay for too long. Okay. Suit yourself. Well, talking about 
oneself is as pointless as it gets. On paper, yes. But I don't really care about this place. I built it, put some stuff in, left some people here, and let them just manage themselves. Asta's the lead researcher of the space station, so for all intents and purposes, she's the master. I reject the concept of ownership because I don't want the responsibilities that come with it. It doesn't matter. Who cares if others don't like me? I know I don't care. As long as I have my own value, I can do whatever I want. While you may have good character, do you have any value? Uh, don't take that the wrong way. I'm genuinely asking you. You might have some value. I, I just don't know about it. Human. Female. Young. Beautiful. Attractive. Not much different from what you're seeing now. I modeled it after how I looked back when I was a kid. It might not be identical, but I'd say maybe 70, 80% there. Oh, I was so precocious. All I cared about back then was solving the solitary wave problem. <sighs> Ignoring my precious childhood. Stella runs, huh? Ask away. I'm listening. According to my research, it's a type of life form with a special property that tethers it to a certain path or eon's power. Wherever it's located, it responds to that world's desires to advance its civilization. But this comes at the cost of some form of disaster. The mechanism behind it is likely related to Nanook the Destruction. Oh, that weird bunch. I'm satisfied with just one Stellaron. But they've scoured the universe, obtained several, and still aren't satisfied. I don't know what their true intentions are. Screwlum went up against the Stellaron hunters before. I heard there was a member whose hacking skills were on par with Screwlum. Huh, being on the same level as Screwlum, who's probably the best in the universe, is nothing short of spectacular. It's beyond my abilities. Computers are not my forte. Huh, that I don't know. Which is why I'm gearing up to solve this mystery. The Express? Shouldn't you be asking Himiko instead? train. Well, I was very interested in the Express for a while and wrote a lot of papers, but forgot where I left them. Now I can't remember anything about it. Uh-huh. Well, we've been business partners for a long time. Every once in a while, I'll need them to get me things from other planets. And they often come to me to help them solve problems. Okay, suit yourself. Let's try it back again to the Have you thought things through? Hmm? Go ahead. So, have you thought? This happened. to now.
It's a pity that we haven't had... Mm, I like you, but if you were just... But I can sense your... Inf sure. Still early. Where to now?
pretty good crowd today. Um, my tempo! I told you I could fight. With me out here, how can you lose? Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. This song's just for you. <laughs> Watch this! Let's go. You couldn't have done it without me. Revealed in an instant. This sensation is but a vision. Revealed in an instant, this search is but a vision! Turn. 
Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Check out this awesome move! 
the truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sensation is but a vision. This song's just let's rock. With me out here, how can we lose? Ready to lose yourself? Find us or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Let's go. Huh. The time is now. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Revealed in an instant, this search is but a vision! This song's just for you. <laughs> Stay right there while I give you a present! Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's run. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Ready to lose yourself? Find it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Uh, rules are made to be broken!
step aside. I have no interest in stoking cock the tyrant now. Keep up. My tempo! I told you I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? Reach the end of the story in your own way. Level 16. Take some pictures? Only Hertzarium are accepted for payments. No
late to repent. Let's make huh. You couldn't have done it without me. Okay. There's stuff. There's stuff. Oh, okay. Have you thought things through? Wanna go take some pictures? Only Hertzarium are accepted for payments.
continue. So much. I guess I can rest. 